Guard was uh, guarding the state capitol where this originally started, Jeff. That's right. And what we know uh, just in the last few minutes learned that the FBI made the Minnesota National Guard aware of a credible threat against the Guard. This was prior to activation, prior to when we saw the National Guard on the street trying to help with the unrest um, and the rioting in here in Minneapolis and across the Twin Cities. And what we know is that the information came from the FBI. The FBI gave that information to the Minnesota National Guard. And as a result of that, the adjunct general asked the, the governor to allow for soldiers and airmen to be armed. And you're looking at video right there of one of them uh, armed, uh, learning now that this is the reason, this credible threat is probably the reason why they are armed as they are guarding spots across the Twin Cities, like the state capitol, but also as they're out on missions with the state patrol, with the fire departments, and uh, in other places, uh, you know, holding ground, Jeff. And I think that speaks to the severity of this issue when we've heard over the past several days the governor and other leaders trying to quell rumors, uh, whether it be related to white supremacists, the cartel, all the other investigations happening in addition to the enforcement that's going on uh, due to the riots, the severity of this threat and the fact that the FBI is willing to uh, confirm it. Yeah, definitely, Jeff. Um, definitely speaks to, to the danger of it. We don't know any more about what this credible threat was against the Minnesota National Guard or, um, or any more specifics about that. But let's go